and uh, I got my Amazon delivery for the boat. I still can't quite get that into my head, you know, that I can get Amazon deliveries. Anyway, there's some new gas hose. Reason being is that I have that gas buddy, but I'm not real sure. I don't feel 100% about it. It worked fine uh, when I went out uh, on Lake Huron uh, to test the boat. So, I mean, it's not a matter of, you know, that it did work fine. There's, there it is there. And, uh, it's a gas buddy. So you can use that for your boat and you just put you want, but they have to be vented. And the problem is I'm having trouble finding caps for these vents. I don't know why I'm having such trouble, but they're, they just won't, they just won't screw on properly. So when I open them, they have to be open when you're running the motor because it needs the air to go in. Right. Anyways, I thought to myself, well, you should probably be smart and, uh, you know, have the other gas line, uh, the other gas line. Well, I guess I threw it away already, but, um, I just heard a kid yell. Is there still people close to me here? Or maybe that was some other animal. Anyways, um, so I threw it away because it was very brittle and it was those gas lines. If you guys know your outboards and stuff, they were selling for years gas lines that you know were supposedly for outboards and stuff and uh, but they had like a, a plastic like a, a a plastic sleeve inside but it was more like cellophane plastic like you know when you get the plastic like saran wrap that kind of thing so what was happening with those as they get older especially when they're sitting in the sun and getting brittle on the outside that stuff starts to break down and that goes in your motor and plugs it i think that's what happened last year when the fuel filter you know, uh, did what it did. Cause as soon as I changed it and, uh, everything seemed to be fine after that, thankfully the fuel filter caught any contaminants before that got into the carburetors and stuff. So saying all that, I, um, I wonder if I can put you guys here cause I don't have a, uh, unfortunately, uh, you can see it in the boat. The other tripod broke. Okay. Eh? This is not a tripod anyway. Um, so I ordered another, I was over at the other place for a reason. I needed the scissors from the tackle box. Um, but anyway, I ordered a uh, regular hose uh, from Amazon. It was, I don't know, 30 bucks with tax. And they delivered it right here. And uh, they delivered it like uh, around three. I wanted to be out and about earlier. Um, I just want to see if that other tripod is fixable. I just had a thought about something. I don't think it is, but um, I wanted to go swimming because it's the right day for it. It's nice and warm, good sun. Uh, so it's a day for swimming. Probably going to go yet anyways. I mean, it's not like I have to swim, you know, at 12 noon or anything like that. Oh, boy, that's a, I'm not going to get that off to use the, the uh, oar, not the oar, but the paddle. I also restrung my two fishing rods, which I came to a conclusion, a weird one, is um, one of the reasons I haven't been redoing. I used to redo my rods every year, fresh tackle, fresh everything every year. Of course, I also used to fish a lot more. But since the chainsaw accident, okay, um, I haven't restrung them. I didn't go out on the boat last year. I sat here and uh, got all high up on uh, chocolate psilocybin mushroom candy bars. <laughs> and uh, the year before that, I can't remember. I did go fishing, I guess. That was the year I caught the rainbow. Or, no, that was 2021. So I can't even remember. I probably did nothing. And uh, But I hadn't restrung the rods. So I redid uh, my two main rods, which now is this new one. Um, that's my downrigger rod, which doesn't need lead core or anything like that. So she's all done up and ready to rock and roll to work with the downrigger, which I now have. And then this is my lead core setup, which I can use for deep water fishing, like, you know, up to 50 feet, let's say, maybe a little more if I use a, a particular kind of lure. But like, um, you know, like if I'm, I, like if, if I know that the water, you know, the, the, the trout want 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 Celsius. So if they're up, 
you know, higher because the cold waters come up higher, I can use the leg core to get to them. Now, in the lakes around where I live, especially in particular Palmerston Lake, that's a, uh, a, a, you know, a lake that's fed by a whole bunch of huge springs. So the thermocline, which is the level where the water changes, you know, the temperature down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit for the trout. So I can use that without having to use downriggers in Palmerston, unless the bite's not on or, you know, it's a particularly hot week or something and the thermocline is down further. Now, I know that there's a particular spot I fish there where I know that's the cold water coming up from one of the, you know, one of the springs. I can tell that by turning the gain up on my, uh, on my sonar. So, uh, or my, yeah, my sonar. So anyways, uh, fish finder, um, so I know where that is, but there are days, you know, you're just not going to catch them. So one of the things you can do, of course, is downrig. So that's why I have that. The other nice thing, yeah, I guess I'm not fixing this anytime soon. This, she's, uh, she's toot finny. Isn't that a shame, you Lancy, eh? And it doesn't look like I can. Yeah, there's just, uh, this is not happening. I don't know if I have another one. I'm going to have to hold this all the time. That's going to be a real drag very quickly. And it's a nice little, I mean, this is a DJI action, you know, <laughs> extender thing, but no tripod. And then the tripod that I use for the cell phone, it's no good to hold the camera. So um, I'll check. I, I might have packed another one. But uh, anyway, you know what? Let's just do it, Jesus. You know, instead of just saying, it's not like I haven't been filming a whole lot here. Oh, I just got a message from my friend. I'm going to have to go talk to her, so we're going to take a break. I don't, uh, she uh, was a little upset with me because she's a little bit jealous at times. <laughs> Um, and I was talking to someone from my past, but nothing, it's totally, I mean, uh, she's married, all this other stuff, that's all fine, but anyways, so she's fine now, but I mean, she wasn't happy that I had done that, and I said, well, I have nothing to hide from you, I tell you right away, so I, which is what I did, so anyway, ah, here we go, this one here, this one here, I'll have to get it set up, but it's heavier, but it is a tripod. I just can't hold it like I normally, you know, it, well, I can hold it. It's just not as good as the, uh, I think this one is actually broken, isn't it? Or no, is this one still? No, this one isn't broken. I thought I had, I must have thrown away the other one that's broken. So, all right, well, I'll set this up. I'm going to go, oh, wait a minute. Here's another tripod what is this one? Oh, i forgot about this tripod this is a nice tripod and this one you can put the camera and the phone on it oh well that's okay the other one broke i guess i must have been thinking ahead there i was just having a bit session at my friend mark that owns the satellite company because starlink without any knowledge, without any forethought to tell us installers that the Generation 3 Starlink dishes are now being sold in Canada. And I'm like, well, Jesus, Murphy, it would have been nice to know ahead of time, you know. Um, they're a little more advanced. Uh, they don't pivot. You know, they don't have an actuating mechanism anymore to move them so that they're facing the satellite. Sometimes they need to adjust a little bit. Now the actuating me me mechanism and the thing that goes, receives from the satellite and sends out stuff, it's inside. So the actual plastic part doesn't move at all. It's, it's inside. It's smaller, it's sleeker. Uh, and I understood um, that this new version will be faster for when the bandwidth is going to be a lot faster at Starlink because every time they launch a rocket right now with 23 satellites each time and they get into the constellation, the speeds just keep growing with the Starlink system. Right now, Elon is, is um, um, launching two Falcons a week, uh, which is like 40, let's say 40, 45 satellites. Uh, every week, so that's pretty slow. They, I mean, they're right around five or six thousand, maybe, and they need forty thousand uh, to get these super speeds like fiber and everything. And it's coming. The plan originally was to be a gigabyte down by Christmas, 
But that's because Starship was supposed to be flinging satellites up there, and it can carry 400 at a time. So, but with the FAA and the testing, uh, it's going well. It's just it's taking longer than you know what Elon thought originally. I would say. So, anyways, um, but they're getting there, and as soon as Star Starship is is deemed ready to start carrying payloads, that's going to really get things screaming for the uh, for the Starlink. Um, and these new dishes will be part of that. So anyways, plus I want to know, I mean, what happens to the people with generation twos? Okay, they still get all their speed and everything. Um, but like if I want to upgrade to gen three, what happens there? Like, you know, uh, right now they're on sale for 199. But, you know, are you going to buy back my kick? Because they were buying back the gen twos. The company that I'm doing stuff for was buying gen twos. So... Oh, okay, it's after 10 minutes. I've been trying to keep these under 10 minutes. So, well, I guess this is going to be a YouTube exclusive then instead of no TikTok because uh, I had a couple other things. Anyways, uh, um, why did I go on about all this? Um, Starlink, because I was complaining about having the heads up and all that. Okay, that's what it is. So, anyways, long story short. I didn't get a heads up. I've got to change everything that we're doing so I can account for Gen 3s now and uh, be able to use it as an advertising tool because it is a better dish. Okay, everyone, I'll be back. I've got to go talk and then we'll get on to the, uh, the boat thing and I'll have the other tripod set up so I don't have to sit here and hold it so I can have my hands free. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe as always. Uh, be good to your fellow human. If you want to help out or anything, paypal.com slash at symbol, lad from the woods. Peace, long life, and live long and prosper.